All right, let's take a look at how you can create your own sub-VI. And a sub-VI is analogous to a function in a traditional text-based programming language. And for this example, I'm going to create a multiply accumulator device. So I'll put down a multiplier and an adder. And I'll go ahead and create controls we need, would have a total of three because I'll be forming the expression A times B plus C. So a total of three controls. And let's get those tidied up by aligning them. Might as well clean up the wire while we're at it. We have an output. So we give that an indicator and I'll call that Y. Now these essentially form the inputs and the outputs associated with our sub-VI. I'll go also ahead and put down a comment here explaining what this little uh, diagram is supposed to be doing. Now back on the front panel, if I right click and pick show connector, that's called the connector pane and I can use my wiring tool to establish the relationship between uh, specific, specific controls, as I'm wiring here, and the specific indicator. And so that then serves as the connection points on the icon that we'll be creating here in just a moment. So on the icon editor I can select the default graphics and delete those. And it's always a good idea to leave the black boundary intact. I'll just do a simple thing that says Mac for multiply accumulator. And I can type in some text and then you can use your arrows to fine tune the position of the text. So now we have our custom icon ready to go. I will then go ahead and save this as Mac.vi. Now let me go ahead and create a new VI. And if I then say select a VI, I can pick my VI from the file folder. And then I can then place this sub VI as many times as I like in my own diagram. So this way we've really established some hierarchy. This presently untitled block diagram contains three instances of the sub-VI called Mac. Notice the three input terminals and the single output terminal. Now at this point I can begin wiring, uh, do all of the various sorts of wiring activities that you might be typically doing. Now if I were to double click on that sub-VI I get sent to the front panel of that VI. So I'll then show the block diagram, which we could also do by control E, and then we're back down into the diagram for that sub-VI. Now notice that at the moment, if I have context help enabled, I don't see anything that explains what this thing does. So I'll go back to the Mac.VI, and under File, you can see VI properties, which you can also get to by control I. Under VI description, you can add some text. And this is the text that will be displayed when you wave your cursor over that sub VI that you've created. And this VI description should be fairly detailed. And for this particular example, I will just write down the equation that's being performed by that VI. So let's try our context help again. Oh, I'll go ahead and save that. I was just noticing that it wasn't saved. Now we can see the little text has been added there.